Um, uh, welcome guys to, um, a new Let's Play in this game called Singularity. I, uh, decided I want to play something else besides Mad Max. Um, also, I don't know what that voice was about, but, uh, felt like changing things up a bit. That How about that? How, is that so bad every once in a while? Um, this game's Singularity. This part's not real important, it's just displaying your... If you know your history, this isn't important. You should go learn about your Cold War history first. Go do that. Watch another video on that. Come back here, then watch me play this game. Um, but basically, I played this just a slight bit because I thought maybe I'd like it for, like, because it said it was kind of like Bioshock. And I did, but I also decided, you know what, I think recording this game would also be fun. But, uh... Right now, it's just giving us a little history lesson on atomic bombs and whatnot, which is one of my, you know, I love that stuff. And then it gets the fiction of this island. So, uh, I'll just shut up and uh, kind of let you listen in on this story part. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet, Barisov is pressured to begin tests. Kaboosh! Bad stuff happens. You don't. I. You know what? Never mind. Forget it. You don't really need to know this story. Effectively wiping it from the map. This is. It's not. I mean, this backstory part's not even that important. All you gotta know is that some crap happened in the '60s on this island with the new element or whatever. Then it wiped out these systems, and now we gotta go in and we gotta go fix it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you wanted to see the cutscene, but it's not important. Let me tell you that. Ah, Big Papa. Meat axe here will fill you in on the all the important stuff. Right here, we're we're chilling with our brother Devlin, and we're we're chilling in this Huey, and we're about to land on this Katorgatov Island, whatever. Basically, this game is that actually, yeah, it feels like a, like Bioshock. It's got a, that feel to it, not only with the gameplay, but kind of like with the story and the. It's got you a lot to do with the story and mechanics. You'll, you'll see if you guys are a fan of that. I'm a big fan of that. I uh, I even have this uh, new um, phone skin that's uh, a Nisi So Bays. I'll probably try to see if I can throw that picture into the video because why not? Just to show how big of a fan I am of the uh, Bioshock and Rick and Morty series. And oh crap, oh no, the helicopter's going out of control. Wish I remembered that happening yesterday. I wish I, I'm surprised by that. Actually, I mean seriously though. I mean, um, this starts off very generic storyline. Like it, it just wants you to be here, and then it just kind of wants you to get onto this island. Which at first I thought this pier was very. I wanted to kind of it to be like a carnival pier thing. Uh, I don't know why, but it, it, it kind of felt like that with all the way the ribbons and decorative parts are and everything. I kind of wanted to explore, but it, it's a linear game. It, it's um, it wants you to go places, and you're gonna go wherever it wants you to go. There's there's a slight um, you know, exploration that you can do like here. I doubt they bet I was gonna do that or whatever, but we're just gonna walk around picking stuff up and keep on going. Devlin. Oh, jeez. Yeah, don't der. I guess we're. Oh, yeah, he's radioing in for freaking whatever. Search and rescue. Let's go up these stairs. Target development community. Why they put that in English? I have no freaking clue. I, as if they see, it is like a carnival type thing. They want people of multiple descents to come here, not just Russians. They were gonna open this up to the public. Oh, whatever. Devlin wants to meet up with the rally point or whatever. And then this game kind of babies you through the first steps, and it's got. Oh, I love these. We're not gonna listen to them though. They're not very important. I'll tell you that much. Oh, we'll, we'll read these notes though. As people arrive from the boat, they no doubt have a great many questions, but you must explain that there is no time to waste. Move quickly and without hesitation. Through your list of prepared questions, once you have filled out the form fully, move the newcomer onto the next station. There are always a great many people process. The faster you work, the faster everyone will finish the job. 
one thing I kind of liked about this game is that with the no notes, you kind of um, like slashes like the notes. You don't. It doesn't pause the game when you pick up a note. So like, if you read a note, you better be safe. You better be in a safe area. It's not. It's not gonna just let you sit there and read the notes and stuff. Oh yeah, this part kind of remind me of the freaking Fallout thing. Oh look at that. Oh man, it reminds me of um my time in the uh, Atomic New Museum in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was a really cool museum, and they had like that, uh, like a 1950s PSA on how the atomic bomb and atom splitting works. Hold on, I gotta go stab this piece of wood. That's the only piece of wood that breaks. I, I swear, I go through all these other pieces of wood, and I stab them. Hey buddy, how's it going? Let me stab you in the face a couple of times. Alright, that guy was kind of disturbing. I'll be honest, I, I, that, that gave me a bit of a, a, a scare the first time I played this. But uh, most of the stuff in here does not it's, not, it's not a scary game, it's not a horror game, it's a shooter. It, it, it can get disturbing, but for the most part it's a shooter. Oh, jeez, I forgot about that. Okay, I did forget about that. Ooh, ow, that kind of hurt my legs. So, well, dude, why does this guy look like Peter Parker's boss? Look at him. Okay, Peter Parker's boss. I'll get you pictures of Spider-Man. Don't you worry. You'll pay me. And not that stupid Peter Piper Peckles Pepper guy. I don't, we don't need him. Of course I'll help you up. I don't really have a choice. I wish I had a choice. I would not help you up if I had a choice. If I believe... Oh, let's get you out of here. Pop open the store. Didn't I just come from here? I don't know. Wait, did I come from here? I have a feeling I did. Either way, or did I come from another place? Are we going? I forgot where I go. Oh, through here. Run through the fire. Go faster. Move faster. Ow. Don't hit me with that hell breeze. I don't need that in my life. I'll just uh, crash down under here, guys. Oh, hold on, guys. Wait, wait, hold on. It's, this is not a sanitary place. I gotta wash my hands real quick. Ooh, yeah, that's to get under the fingernails. Get under the. Oh, come on! Who, who freaking over flooded the toilet? Marsha, I know that's you. You're just freaking disgusting. Get out! Oh, jeez. Burnt flesh does not smell good, guys. Let me just. I'll go on record saying that. Ow, oh, come on. Freaking fire hurts. Wow, that ficus is on fire. I don't know how and why people aren't putting it out, but itself is going on fire. The Joseph Stalin Memorial. Wait, 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 wait. <coughs> Peter pa Oh, he's gonna offer me a race for my pictures of Spider-Man. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Look at him. He's looking in my eyes. He's, he's my father. No? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. It changed. Oh, it was just Stalin. I didn't recognize that before. It was Joseph Stalin, and now it's... I think that's the guy I just saved. It could be someone else. I'm not 100% certain who it was. What the heck? Oh, so I did change stuff. I didn't even recognize that. Wait, wait, wait. Did this change at all? Or no? I don't think this changed. It'd be cool if it did, since I just... Okay, never mind. It's the same thing. It'd be cool if that changed. How about all this stuff? Did this stuff change? No, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I don't know if they care about this this much of the first part of the game. Now that I th now that I go through it a second time, it's just kind of wow. Okay, now I'm actually come on. Where do I go? Where do I go? I guess it's out the blue doors, and I'm an idiot. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. I just like to hit that. That way, you guys will never hear it. I don't want you guys to hear that stuff. To be honest, I love audio rot logs, and I love I love them, but I. Th I think that the majority of like gameplay, if I'm making this, do you guys really want to listen to that? I don't know. If you do, leave me a comment. Tell me to go back and freaking pick up those audio logs so you can hear them if you actually care. I will much oblige. I will sell out to you guys. I'll sell out to fans. Come on, man. You all know that. I'll s I'll I'll hold out for the views like that. Just kidding. Your son, J Yakov, has continually been disruptive in okay. class. See, okay, he mocks me in front of my other students, and it reminds me of my elementary school days, and refuses to keep his hands hat off during his class. His crude behavior will not be tolerated. If this continues, he will be expelled from school or worth. Wow, dang, expelled for... That's harsh. 
I guess Kertorga 12 is... Oh, whoa, what was that? Nothing, never mind. Okay. Uh, when Kasha returned from the lab, she told me she wasn't feeling well because she had come in contact with E99, but I think that's a line she's seeing other men. I offered to take her to the doctor, but she refused, saying that she actually was falling in love with the doctor and she wouldn't believe me. She begged me to keep quiet about it, let the sickness come in course, but then she became violent, so I chained her to the door shut from the terrible sounds I've heard coming from there, and I can't even look back at her anymore. Jeez. Wow. That... Oh yeah, doesn't the... Ooh, ball. Um, that's never a good sign. Does I think the stuff like mutates them, but I'm sure you guys already put that together. Curse the day we came to Court Joker 12. Yuri's working himself to death in the labs, and I can oh it's a woman I think. Uh oh, he tells cannot tell us about his work. I I I'm sorry I botched that up. I thought I was like I'm really getting into this voice right now. Oh yeah, we first get we get the, we get the pistoli right now. I'm gonna bust open this door, Mr. White. Oh, and I missed the first shot. Bust it open. I got some firepower. Ooh, that is no good. I forgot about that part. I'm gonna be honest. That is not cool. I, why do they? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. I should have remembered. I should have remembered. I'm sorry. That's stupid of me. I should have remembered that. Eh. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Picking up this ammo. Oh, I gotta heal myself again. Jeez. All I gotta do is wrap bandings around my arm. It's like Far Cry. It's, it's simple. I think I remember this pistol sucking quite a bit is what I remember from the first part of this game is that you really had to like do shot placement which I can't do because I'm awful at playing games unless it's CSGO I, I, I got that but this game this game is not that game Ooh, get your head knocked off son who's the boss now I'm the boss now I am the one who knocks um except for the fact that I think that we are pretty much out of time for this first episode um i'm gonna be doing more of this and hopefully get through the whole thing because i actually really like this game uh, so uh see you guys next time playing singularity